All right, so I'm gonna do a little mini series of videos on adding some more electrical power to the GX460. Um, it's too much to put in one video, and it's actually was a lot of trial and error um, to get this working right, so I wanna document it well. But basically, I wanted some more electrical power in this thing. I added a um, 100 amp hour lithium battery under here, an inverter, all this stuff. This first video is just going to cover how to get enough voltage to charge that lithium battery. So these lithium batteries like to be charged around 14 volts. From the factory, your alternator will not output that much. But there's an easy mod you can do. It's pretty common knowledge, um, but I haven't seen a good one for the GX460. So I'm gonna try to explain it in this video. Um, there's a fuse here called the ALTS. Uh, it's your alternator sense fuse, I believe. It's a 7.5 amp. It's this one right here you see all modified. Basically, what you can do is you can add a few um, diodes in series with the 7.5 amp fuse right there, and that'll trick your alternator into thinking it's not outputting as much voltage. So if you know how diodes work, depending on the type of diode, there's a voltage drop across them. If you use a silicon diode here, it's about a 0.7 volt drop across each diode. Um, so if you put two in series, that should get you an extra 0.1 or an extra 1.4 volts. It's not an exact thing. Every diode's a little different. You can measure a bunch and pick and choose. There's also different diodes you can use that have less voltage drop. So you can really use this to tune exactly how much voltage your alternator puts out. I did a lot of trial and error with it in order to get it to the voltage I wanted um, to charge my battery as effectively as possible. So I'm gonna show you how to first make that little um, contraption here to plug in in place of the stock fuse to increase the voltage out of your alternator. And uh, in the next video, I'll show you how I did my charging setup. It's really simple. Uh, this is the first part of it is to get a little more voltage out of your alternator so that you can actually charge your lithium battery without having to have um, a, a expensive DC to DC charger and another module. Keep it as simple as possible mini fuse style alternator booster it's pretty simple just take any old fuse go in and break the um, contact the fuse part with a pick or just blow the fuse with some current um, and then take a razor blade and scrape off some plastic so you can get to the top of the con the contacts um, then take two wires solder them on to each of those legs like that and um, take however many um, diodes you want to put I'm going to use one diode that does a 0.2 volt and then one that does a 0.7 for a 0.9 volt increase and solder them in series with another fuse that way you still have your fuse and then plug that into your fuse box and you're done um, this is how I tried it the first time it was just awkward to plug into the fuse box so now I'm going to do it with the plastic still intact all right with the stock fuse back in there we're getting 13.33 all right, with that contraption installed, we are getting 13.8 volts. So I switched out one of my Schottky diodes for another silicon diode, silicon diode, and now I'm at 14.1 uh, volts. Pretty respectable. That should charge the battery just fine. So keep in mind, this is just the voltage at idle. It does go up a little bit once you're running. What I settled on was two silicon diodes wired in series. I just used some cheapo Amazon 10 amp diodes. Um, the reason I included the extra steps to show you that you can tune it to get whatever voltage you want out of it. Um, it's pretty neat. This is easy to do as long as you can solder. I'll put a link in the description for the diodes that I used.